All right, we are back for another week. This is week two for 2020 Boston Marathon training. If you're training for the Boston Marathon, uh, please leave a comment down below. What week are you on? What program are you using? And thank you for following me along. Stay tuned for our first workout of the second week. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Like I said, it is week two and it is a balmy one to start this week with. It is uh, currently 66 degrees, maybe warmer than that out here in Dover, Delaware. And uh, yeah, I'm still dressed like it's going to be in the 40s. Got long sleeves, long pants, and I do that for a reason. I run Boston when it's in the 90 degrees. I run Boston when it's uh, in the 30s. So I always tend to overdress, stay warm. And uh, so that's what I tend to do for all my workouts, including speed workouts. Anyway, like I said, we have a great week coming up. Uh, I'm going to do some speed work as well. And uh, yeah, what else? Yeah. So anyway, we're going to start off today, start this week with a nice, easy run. Six miles, nice and easy, conversational pace. And uh, keep the heart rate uh, 60, to 70%, 60 to 70% of the max heart rate. Uh, if you wear a heart rate monitor or you should be able to talk when you run. So that's what we're going to do today. And we also have, uh, I think, a 5K plan for our speed workout this week, which is not typical for our program, but we're going to do it anyway. So anyway, let's get going. out but it's kind of strange it's warm in places and it's really cold in places got like weird like temperature isotherms going on uh, that's kind of strange but in general it's pretty warm out anyhow got six miles done 809 pace so not too shabby not too slow today uh, cut the heart rate nice and low around 130 or so a couple places got elevated when I had to cross intersections and there's a the last intersection here I had to basically sprint across it. But in general, nice and relaxed, conversational the whole time. I was able to talk to myself, which I didn't do too much. But regardless, six miles done, 809 pace. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. I'm gonna do some little stretching. I got a little niggle in my knee from riding the bike last week. I don't know what's going on there. It's not really a pain, it's kind of like a, a pulling feeling in my knee, so I wanna massage that out take care of that time for lunch and get back to work stay tuned for tomorrow i don't know what we're doing but i'll let you know tomorrow okay and we're back it's day two of our week two workouts and uh today is gonna be another nice easy run conversational pace and i promise you we will change things up starting tomorrow actually we're gonna be doing a little speed work hopefully tomorrow morning uh in the form of a 5k but today nice easy run one thing i wanted to talk to you about before we get going is warming up and getting ready to do each workout uh, i generally do a nice easy dynamic warm-up uh, and i'm going to show you what that's like right now <music>
Okay, so once we get the heart moving a little bit, get the breathing up a little bit, get the pulse up a little bit, then we are ready to roll, and that's what we're gonna do now. So uh, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Check a couple things here. That'll wrap it up for today. Six miles, actually 6.09 miles at 8.14 pace. So, pretty average, easy run. Had some issues with heart rate climbing artificially. I'm not sure what was going on there. Maybe something with my heart rate strap. But I also feel a little warm. It's like in the high 40s today, low 50s, and not a lot of wind. I feel like I'm a little overdressed. But that's okay. Get used to the warmth in case it's a warm race day. So anyway, it's gonna wrap it up. Maybe a little bit of stretching, just to open the hips up again after the little six mile run. And tomorrow, I think we're gonna do a 5K like I mentioned before, but I will give an alter alternate to doing a 5K. I'll give the speed workout you're supposed to do um, for week two, and I'll do that tomorrow. Give that to you guys tomorrow. But until then, uh, have a good day. All right, good morning. It is day three of week two for our training for 2020 Boston Marathon. And today we're doing a speed workout. Uh, the part of the wind and the music. Uh, speed workout, which is gonna include a 5K race today. So you can see behind me is the finish line for the 5K. Uh, so that's what we're, what we're gonna be doing today. If I can talk, um, since I'm a week ahead of the schedule, today is actually New Year's Day. But when you see this, it'll be the week after, I think, if I do that right. Anyhow, 5K, we're not gonna, we're just gonna kinda make a speed workout, try to keep it quick, work on efficiency, work on form, work on fast rotation, leg rotation, cadence, if you wanna call it that. Uh, <clears throat> so, the alternative to doing a 5K race today, if you don't feel like doing a 5K for your speed workout today, is this, and I'll try to list it here as well. But your, the workout would be one and a half miles of warm up, nice, easy pace, conversational, uh, followed by some light stretching. And then you would be doing 12 by 400 meters. So 12 times 400 meters at 5K to 10K pace, in that range of your 5K to 10K pace, with a 200 meter recovery. So half the distance recovery, so 400 meters hard. 200 meters easy, 400 meters hard. Try to keep moving, try to keep jogging, try not to try not to walk. And then uh, after you complete the 12 by 400 meters, you do a one and a half mile cool down with some light stretching, and that'll be the workout for the day. So uh, we just finished our little warm up, two miles, nice and easy. And we're gonna get ready, get changed here, get some race shoes on, and do the 5K. So uh, let's see how that goes. Mile one, 5.47. Got a couple kids ahead of me. Go, Aaron. Mile two, 5.54. One more kid ahead of me. Mile three, 5.55. That was hard. All right, 5K, 8, 11, 18, 11, and average 552 pace. Let's see if I can go find my wife. She's out there killing it right now, too. Go wheeler. Don't look back, run, run, run. I'm waiting for it. Come on, Aaron. You're killing it. 
All right, that'll wrap it up for today. Two mile warm up, then 5K at 18.11, and then two mile cool down, and uh, got a little bit of a bling. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. See you again tomorrow. Back to easy runs. All right, welcome back. Uh, it's the next day. We are on day four, I believe. Glasses would help. Day four. And uh, today's the day after the 5K race. Yesterday we did two mile warm up, 5K race, two mile cool down. Uh, so that's like three, four, five, six, seven miles, seven miles. Today, six miles, nice and easy. Like I said, relaxed, conversational pace. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna see how heavy the legs feel. If there's any sore areas, if I have any sore tendons or ligaments today. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful sunny day. It's about 46 degrees out. Doesn't seem like a whole lot of wind yet, but it's sunny. There's a big yellow ball in the sky. Not used to seeing that too often. And uh, also wearing my Hoka Carbon X uh, running shoes, just because uh, they're a little bit lighter. They're like got a little bit more spring to them. And I feel like my legs are probably gonna be a little dead. So I'm gonna wear those just to not feel so dead. So anyway, six miles, nice and easy, let's roll. Six miles, nice and easy, done. Uh, calves are tight. Wowie. Yesterday's 5K race, the number of my calves, they are like rocks, they're tight. They're gonna need a massage for sure. Uh, I'll try to do that tonight. And may actually get a real massage tomorrow. May have a, a planned day off since I've been running straight for the last couple of weeks uh, every day. And uh, yeah, so anyway, see, 6.02 miles at 8.09, yeah, 8.09 minutes per mile. So nice pace. Uh, I do have a heart rate monitor on. It was not working properly today. So I was just going by conversation. I was singing some songs to myself. Uh, just to make sure I didn't speed up too much because I sometimes get impatient and want to just get the thing done. So don't be impatient, just be patient and Follow what you need to do instead of trying to speed things up to get it over with. Enjoy the experience, be in the present, be in the now. That's gonna wrap it up for today. Tomorrow may be a massage day, but maybe not. We'll see how things go and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, good morning. Today we are back to running. It is day six of week two. And before we start back tracking, try to figure out what's going on. You did not skip day five. Day five was a day off, a planned day off from us uh, running. But what we did do on day five was we got a nice massage, uh, worked out some of the knots and niggles in my uh, calves, shoulders, because I have tight shoulders just from stress, and uh, hamstrings, that kind of thing. Just got a nice massage, uh, hour long massage at Topper Spa here in Dover, Delaware. Just to give a little shout out to them. Uh, they did a great job. It's nice and relaxing. My wife and I did it together because obviously she's training for uh, Boston Marathon as well. So that was day five. Nice programmed day off. Scheduled day off. Uh, but we're back at it today. It is about 56 degrees. It is uh, has been raining all night. It's going to be raining all day. We're kind of in a little window here of no rain. And uh, we're going to do rack at six miles. Nice and easy. Conversational pace. Uh, I have my heart rate monitor on, but it's not working today. So I have to figure out what's going on with that. So I guess I'll be doing a lot of singing to myself. Uh, the other thing I have on is my Run Dynamics running pod. It's this little bugger right here. And it tells you what your cadence is and your uh, stride length and your oscillation, your ground contact time, a bunch of stuff. There's a video on this. 
uh, where I review this uh, little bugger here, the, the, the uh, Garmin Run Dynamics running pod. And if I remember, I'll put the video right here, uh, just as a reminder for that. And uh, I, the biggest problem with this pod that I've noticed is I forget to put it on. It's uh, very tiny and uh, I, I'm always in a hurry to try to get out for my runs and everything. But anyway, enough yapping, let's get running. for today nice morning jog six miles 6.02 miles to be exact at 827 pace so I was feeling a little sluggish today and uh, yeah just legs are a little stiff a little sore I think from the massage from the massage yes I can talk uh, just gotta keep things stretched out anyway just keep the heart rate down keep them relaxed six miles done Tomorrow, go a little bit longer, and then next week, we start into some serious stuff. Some long runs, I believe. Tempo, which I dread very much. If you've seen my videos from last year, from Boston Marathon training, I dread them. But they gotta get it done. They're very, very important for marathon training, especially at the pace I wanna run at. So anyway, it's gonna be wrap it up. See you tomorrow. All right, welcome back. This is day seven, week two, final day. Obviously, week seven, day seven. Oh, and we picked a cold and windy one today. It is in the 30s. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but we got 20 plus mile an hour winds. It feels like it's in the 20s. Wee wee! And uh, we got eight miles to do today. Nice and easy. And. Uh, I'm feeling lucky because my wife is out there doing 17 today. She's on a different program. Uh, she's ahead of me in the in the training for Boston. But uh, yeah, she's out there doing 17. We we're doing eight, nice and easy, conversational pace. And uh, dang it, I want to be done already because it's cold. And speaking of cold, I am fighting one right now. Another one. I just got over a cold, and now I have another one. Anyway, let's get ready to go here. Eight miles, nice and easy. Let's roll. Week seven is done. <laughs> I wish. Week two is done. Day seven is done. <sighs> Week seven. Ha! <Huh>. Anyway, <clears throat> got a little long today. Eight point no, eight point two one miles at eight thirty pace. Uh, legs are feeling a little heavy. Not sure if the cold has anything to do with how I'm feeling. Like having a cold it is a, also cold. And also very windy, <coughs> as you may have seen some from uh, some of the video shots. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. I gotta do some stretching. My knees hurt a little bit too; a little sore. I think maybe all part of coming down with a cold. So I have to deal with all that. Vitamin C, plenty of hydration, and zinc. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Let me know what you guys are doing this week for your workouts. Give a big thumbs up on the video. Thank you for following along. Please keep up. We'll be doing this every week. 16 week program. And uh, until next time, peace.